Hello everybody and welcome to this week's weekly reading vlog. Basically, new to my channel, my name is Katie. I really love reading languages and more. My dog has just come in the room. What are you doing up here? I have another dog here. That's what, what are you doing up here? The first book that I'm reading this week, it is Saturday by the way, I actually haven't done much reading at all today. I actually haven't done any reading at all today. Look at her. She's so fluffy. So because I haven't really done this before, this is, here is a little bookish tool. So this is my shelf with some creepy dolls on. I have had for a really long time. So it's got all of my like young adult fiction on it and fantasy books that I've read. Shendo is here. And I'm thinking, I love my fantasy books, don't get me wrong, but I am thinking of maybe changing this up. I've had this like this for so long, I just want to change it. And I've got all of these books here to sort out. This is also another bookshelf I have. This is in the hallway because I don't have the biggest room. These are translated books, I believe. So these two are Japanese. Korean, these are all Japanese. This one's Chinese, I think. I might actually be completely wrong. I apologize if I am. Oh yeah, it is Chinese. Okay. Korean book. And then I also have this bookcase over here. And these are my TBR books. A lot that I really want to read and just for some reason, I just haven't read them. For some reason, I just haven't, just haven't got around to reading them. Just waiting for my little bagel. I think I might need to do the toaster a bit. <laughs> Da, lunch has been made and it is sunny. There's maple. come to join me it seems with reading what book are you currently reading interesting welcome to a day in my life this book has so many mysterious things happening in it and I can't remember anything. <laughs> it's okay, I'll figure it out. I believe in myself that I'll figure it out. People has joined for this evening's reading. Good morning everyone, happy Sunday. But last night I read a good like 50 pages of Before Your Memory Fades. We're on to the second, the second story of the series. The first one was actually pretty sad. I was still a bit confused about everybody and how it all works and who's coming from where and blah blah blah. I quite like how it's split into certain stories because then you can just like read one each day and they're not too long and it's quite just a nice way to read books. Money plant died, so I'm gonna get another one. There. And get this out the car. Like lean it aside. The there we go. Perfect. New toy for Maple. She <laughs> is obsessed. I think she's probably gonna destroy it very quickly. Wait. These are the new plants I got. I got this one because this is my favorite plant in Animal Crossing. I pronounce this. And then I also got a new Chinese money plant. This plant needs to be desperately repotted. I already showed you, but there is the one that I got from my dad. Have I actually read anything today? No. Repotted. Ooh, okay. The roots actually are generally like pretty healthy still. I have repotted this plant, but I am starting to hear thunder and I think it's starting to rain. Well, 
there we go. Good thing I ran inside. Okay, I have just made myself a tea and I'm gonna read the next story in Before Your Memory Fades. from dinner. We went out for dinner for Father's Day, which was really nice. Good morning, everyone. My voice, it is around 8 a.m. I've just woken up and I'm gonna go walk my pool. And then today I'm working from home. Weather is a lot cooler today, which is nice. Did I manage to read much last night? No, I read upside down. I think I read like 30 pages. Five minutes, oh, five minutes before I need to log on for work. Yesterday I repotted these plants and look, they have shot right up. I'm currently on my lunch break for another 15 minutes. I'm just currently trying to edit a thumbnail for my last vlog, but I am very much struggling. I just don't know how I want it to look. So it's gonna be a lot of trial and error, I think, for the next 15 minutes and then maybe just crying at the end. So I've just finished work for the day and I don't really feel myself working that much because it's really boring so don't worry about that. I'm now gonna go and walk Maple and then I've got to go to the gym. Um, just a little update on the book. I don't know if I updated you earlier. Look, I put dry shampoo in my fridge and for some reason it's just it's really difficult to breathe right now. My fridge probably has so much dry shampoo in it. Like it's probably the most dry shampooed piece of hair ever in existence in the entire world. Um, anyway, I got I am, I am gotten to, I am at third story in this book now. All the stories so far have been pretty emotional, haven't cried yet. But if you're looking for cute, magical stories with emotions and meaning, do read this book series. <laughs> everyone we are currently having a thunderstorm and i am gonna go and drive to the bus stop now to get the bus to work <laughs>
this evening. Sixty-two grams of protein. Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing well. I just walked Maple, had dinner, and now I am... Um, I was gonna go for a run or go to the gym, but I honestly just... I think I just need to chill out. So I think what I'm gonna do is finish reading Before Your Memory Fades. Um, so maybe I'll read like a little graphic novel next, maybe The Garlic. It's actually so peaceful outside right now. Like, all I can hear are the birds. It's quite nice. What is this? 20 pages left. actually don't know how to how to feel in this moment i i did not see this coming i did not see this ending come in ah, why do they always throw the most dramatic things into the most like simple sentences like boom here you go what i'm really sad now hello everyone almost half past 11 in the evening kind of deciding what next to read and i think i'm gonna read garlic and the vampire this graphic novel because in true katie style i like to go from one genre to like a very different genre it's just what i prefer so i think this will be a nice fun read to read next in terms of before your memory fades i didn't i didn't think that i was gonna cry and then it hit me like a ton of bricks just straight in my heart that's rubbish yay everybody happy wednesday last night i read garlic and the vampire which was the cutest most adorable just all around a great graphic novel it made me laugh out loud like some of the drawings and illustrations were just mimicking emotions so perfectly it was so good so if you're looking for a cute graphic novel garlic and the vampire definitely it was so good my next book i'm gonna read this week is gonna be Pachinko Parlor, which I have had on my TBR for the longest time. This week, we're getting through them. We finish this today or tomorrow because it's pretty short, and I'm gonna go and head to work. She running really late. Always got to grab a banana. Hi, Hello, everyone. I just got to the park and ride and literally saw my bus go out in front of me. Fine. I listened to TXT on the way here. Sugar Russia. I need to buy breakfast again today. I don't need to buy sanitary towels today. We're still waiting for Big P to show up. I read about 50 pages of Pachinko Parlor on the bus. I really, really enjoy this writing style. I love how melancholy it feels, just like winter in Sokcho. It was sort of like this strange sort of atmosphere, like a cloud covering a surface that you have to look through. I personally really, really like it. Good morning, everybody. Today is the last day at the office before I work from home tomorrow. Also the last day of the weekly vlog. So the plan today is to finish Pachinko Parlor. I'm gonna go to work now, get on the bus, probably read another 50 pages or so. Look, everyone.
So I just got home and look what's arrived. My bag that I ordered in the vlog on Friday has arrived. So I'm going to try this one after dinner. I'm actually going to take this to Cornwall, I think, because it's worth trying it out. It's worth trying it out. Back home again. Repotting can do so much for your plants. Look at this. Another leaf's coming out. What the heck? So bad at opening bags. Yeah, so here are the straps. Where the heck do these ones go? Testing out my bag on Oliver. Wow, is he in Vietnam? Oh. Is that a backpacker? You hot dog. We'll probably finish this in bed because I don't have much left. And then I also got this book. This is Another Person by Kang Hua Gil. I was just absolutely convinced to buy this by this on the back, which said, um, you're never sure who you're rooting for, if you should be rooting for anyone at all. And I was like, get in my basket. So I'm actually going to start reading this tomorrow and read it in Cornwall. Um, so I need to finish this tonight. I just finished the pachinko parlor. What was that ending? The ending just shocked me. I don't... I just... I had to read it like five times. What? Hello, good morning everybody. It is Friday. I said I was going to stop vlogging for the weekly vlog yesterday, which is true, I did, but I wanted to do a wrap up this morning. I'm actually going to Cornwall today for birth, so that's going to be a completely separate video slash vlog. That's why we're kind of ending now and I need to get some work done this morning, working from home. Um, but I thought I'd do a little wrap up of the books we read this week. So the first book I finished this week was Before Your Memory Fade. I'm going to give this one three out of five stars. I really enjoyed myself when I was reading it. Again, I thought it was magical like normal. I just found the stories were a bit too similar for me so it did kind of just feel like it was dragging on a little bit and quite repetitive but overall I really enjoyed it and I did of course as you probably saw I did shed a tear it was sad it's emotional again if you like Studio Ghibli if you want to read something magical and simple but just will give you emotions this book series the second book that I read was Garlic and the Vampire which I didn't actually vlog much of because I read it in one sitting before bed at like 11 p.m. <laughs> this graphic novel is so good. It's so funny. It's so cute. It's just overall just so heartwarming and adorable. If you need something to just make you feel happy and good, Garlic and the Vampire, and I need Garlic and the Witch desperately. Like, I'm gonna give this five out of five stars because it was blush blue. It was amazing. And then last night I did actually finish the Pachinko Parlor. Finally, this has been on my TBR shelf for yonk. I really like this book. I just love Elisa's kind of melancholy sadness to her writing that just makes the world seem so mundane and like the world but anyway everything seems so clinical and relationships just seem so like basic I don't know I can't explain it I really like the way that she writes well and I preferred this one to winter sock show so this was my favorite one that I've read from her I think I'm gonna give it maybe three and a half stars it wasn't like so exciting that I was going to like take my socks off and go to the club kind of thing but it was it was enticing it was interesting it, that ending that ending I had to read so many times I could not believe it so yeah those are the three books that I read this week I'm just so happy that I managed to read three books because I've been in a reading slump for like a year if you have enjoyed this weekly vlog do let me know do comment below what you read this week as well I'm curious to know what your favorites were if you read anything if you're reading anything and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.